actress <laughs> diva. I was just like, what is wrong with me? But I was 10, but I'm still mad at myself. You know, it's the thing. Are you an actress like, diva? <laughs> I, I guess I must be an actress and a diva. <laughs> You should be so proud. This movie is really awesome. I really, really loved it. (laughs) Thank you. So who is Harper? What do you love about playing this character? So Harper is uh, an investigative journalist uh, who works at Depravity, um, which is a mashup of every online uh, magazine you've ever heard of. And what I loved about her uh, is that I was very fortunate in that the writer and director, Quinn Shepard, wrote the role uh, for me with with me in mind. And so therefore she crafted the character around a lot of my own personality and how I would react if I was working with somebody that I didn't like who maybe maybe went to Paris, but maybe (laughs) didn't. And so I've been getting to kind of play out that version of like, if Nadia worked at a a magazine and had this situation happen, how would she react? That was really fun for me. It is interesting because we're kind of in Danny's perspective in this. And so Harper is like her villain, I guess. But when you're watching it, you're like, well, Harper's right. (laughs) Yes, exactly. I mean, I think that's what's so brilliant is like, because Danny is the protagonist, Harper is the antagonist. Harper is her villain, but Danny's the bad guy. And Harper is right. And I think that's what's so fun is like, but interestingly, there have been people who have told me like, I was so mad at Harper. I was so mad at her for messing it up. And I was like, ma'am, sir. That might just be the Zoe Deutsch effect. You can't help but root for her. She is. I mean, that's the thing is like, she was the perfect person to play it. Cause you needed Danny to have a, a human aspect so that you can, you can relate to her. That's important for the film, I think. Yeah, there has to be a reason she has such a following. Exactly. Um, I liked Colin's Instagram handle, which is Weed Boy Colin, which sent me <laughs> to a wormhole of like my own best and worst screen names. Did you have one that just pops out to you where you're like, I can't believe that was my screen name? <laughs> oh God, yes. Yes, I did. I will not say which at because it's, it's still a live email, but it's Actress Diva. I made it when I was 10. It's horrible, but it was like, it was also like around the time that this website was even like created. So it's not like Actress Diva one, like maybe a number would like make it less cringe, but Actress (laughs) Diva, I was just like, what is wrong with me? But I was 10, but I'm still mad at myself, you know? Are you an Actress Diva? (laughs) I I guess I must be an actress and a diva. That is incredible. Um, Danny has this comfort song, which is an Avril Lavigne song, which by the way, Zoe sings very well. What is your comfort song? Oh, man. It changes constantly. Um, I really like sad boy music. Um, So, you know, anything that Sufjan Stevens uh, has, uh, Damien Rice, Keaton Henson. uh, But yeah, the first thing that came to mind was The Blower's Daughter uh, by Damien Rice, which I've been listening to since I was about around the time I made Actress Diva. Did you talk to Quinn about what articles Harper has written? Well, we knew about the RBG piece that was, which was in the script. I don't know if we ever actually dived that deep into like what all she does. I think we were just sort of like general feminist queer stuff. You know, we we really did our our research, our homework, if you yeah. will. General yeah. feminist queer stuff. <laughs> yeah. General feminist queer stuff. Well, thank you so much again. Love the movie, and so great oh. to talk to you. So great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Take care.